Welcome to the party, Commander. Not much of one today, since everyone is busy rushing around. We're receiving countless requests from across the galaxy. Most are handled simply enough. Yeah, but some of those asks are draining our supplies as fast as we get them. Hypermatter, people, ammo, even food. It's getting hard to keep up. Is there anything we can do about it? Get more of, well, everything. People, ships, fuel, time. You know, the easy stuff. We simply have to do more with less. We have some proposed solutions, but there are recent developments that we should discuss first. Sana Ray and I, along with the members of our force enclave here on Odessan, have kept a watchful eye for any further signs of Valkorion's influence. I really miss the days when dead people stayed dead. We are hopeful. The force feels different, lighter somehow, as if Valkorion's very existence was a weight that none of us recognized. Our enclave, the Voss, I'm told that even Satil's students have felt the change. It seems our ancient enemy is well and truly gone. I'm sure you felt it too, knowing your own strength in the Force. The question now is how do we proceed? We need to be sure he's actually gone and it's not just another trick. A prudent decision. I will instruct the Enclave to continue searching for any signs of him. So, on to the Mandalorians. It's a pretty crazy time for them. Shea Vizsla's taken down half the Darmanda on Meksha, but hasn't gotten any closer to this Field Marshal Cole. Indigo never was a hands-on manager. Probably didn't even know his people were involved. As promised, Jakaya Ordo has been aiding our operations in Shea's place. Despite the turmoil in the clans, he's helped us secure escorts for our cargo shipments. If the Mandalorians can't be counted on, find me someone who can. I know some Machani mercs who jump at the chance. I'll put out feelers. Going back to the numerous requests we've received for assistance from our allies across the galaxy, we have a potential solution. We already employ a number of incredibly skilled and resourceful individuals who could likely handle these requests, alone or in small teams. Additionally, I've identified a number of outside assets we could recruit to fulfill our allies' needs. As we've done before, if those assets prove useful, we can bring them into the fold officially. A sort of field test, if you will. I get the feeling you already have one of these tests in mind. Naturally. Our first situation is on Balmora. They're prepping a big shipment of turbo lasers for a Republic base on Corellia. Obviously, our friends in the Empire would prefer that those cannons never get to their destination. Commodore Pardax knows of an external asset that has plagued the Balmoran governor for years. The asset is a Twi'lek using the codename Zenith. He hates the Sith Empire intensely. But that hatred could be used to manipulate him. Pardax believes we can feed him false intelligence, convince him the turbo lasers are instead being sold to the Sith. Zenith does our work for us, and Pardax uses the opportunity to take him into custody. Rather elegant, I think. A single shipment of turbo lasers isn't a crisis. Let the Empire deal with it themselves. Very well. I'll leave this matter to Darth Rivix. I believe that's it for today, Commander. I'll let everyone else know what was discussed. Thank you for your time. <laughs>